Hi guys and welcome to Hindabox on newsfix.com. We're back with a Radia miniature. Indeed, this is the third item of the range of products that we're presenting here. If you've not seen the first two, you'll find them here. Today, let's talk about Yarish. This barbarian was sculpted by Benoit Cochise, as was Diana before. The packaging is similar to the two previous products. A classic blister with, on the front, Stefano Moroni's label. All bits are found on the cluster. The resin used for casting is really close to plastic. Then it's more resistant and is unlikely to break into the blister. Let's start with her body. She is finely sculpted with a dynamic stance. Not as well the more than minimalistic clothing, which reinforces the miniature savage aspect. Her muscular structure and her proportions are very realistic and overall there is no such thing as tremendous exaggeration as it is the case most of the time among Smith fans. Even her breasts are realistic though they possess a respectable size. Our only regret is focused on the lack of facial expression when compared to the miniature's dynamism. Even though she is frowning, her face contour remained very smooth. We would have expected a sanguinary expression with such a posture, closer to the concept. The right leg is up. It creates the forward motion feeling. Mohawk hair will fill the hole on the head. This style reinforces the wild and shaggy warrior aspect. It's completed with a ponytail strapped in a piece of clothes. Coming to the arms, we see the only features that project this miniature in a fantasy world, the axe. The blade is indeed too large to be waved around by Yarish's tonic but frail arms. The left hand seems to hold something that will turn out to be a severed head. This head is very well made. Although, we wonder how it can have closed mouth and eyes. Yaris carries a bow in her back. It's a very simple one and accentuates the archaic look of this lovely barbarian woman. Then come her necklace and the tied up bracelets. the two parts of her handmade skin loincloth and her quiver full of arrows. It would suggest that her last fight was an easy one, as she is missing few bolts, if known. With this rabbit, we understand that she is a huntress and that meeting the head's previous owner was fortuitous. Once built, Yarish uncovers fully. A very dynamic design, full of details and yet very simple. A strong success for our Radia miniature, which definitely proposes high quality products. I will now let you contemplate the shapes of this lovely and dangerous barbarian woman. If you like the video, Please green thumb and comment. If not, leave a comment so we can do better next time. As for me, see you soon in the box. 
on newsfix.com.